Bonjour, Madam Blue here, and I am back with another video. We're going to talk about shampoos because some people are against shampoos. Some people shampoo um, incorrectly. Some people don't use the right shampoos. So I think it's important to talk about shampoos. Okay, so number one, what's the purpose of a shampoo? Now I'm going to give y'all the definition from one of my cosmetology books. Um, I have two, long story. <laughs> so the one um, that I learned from first says to cleanse the hair and scalp and remove all foreign matter, sebum, and product buildup, and to shampoo as often as necessary. So the main purpose of the shampoo is to cleanse your hair. That is the main purpose. Um, there are a million different types of shampoos out there and some companies do add um, different things in the I'll really be doing too much. Some companies do add different things in their shampoo to um, offer other benefits to the hair while cleansing it. But the main reason of a shampoo is to cleanse your hair. So I don't know why y'all are so anti-shampoo, but you have to clean your hair and scalp because we sweat. Our scalp naturally produces oils. We be using all types of different products. You have to clean your hair. Okay. Oh, ingredients. Look, yeah, I just get all over the place. I have my notes here just so I can remember to talk about the things I want to talk about. So the main ingredients, in sh well, actually not the main ingredients. Shampoos have a bajillion, bajillion ingredients. It's ridiculous. Um, sometimes I, it's best to try to look for things that have, I guess, a short ingredient list with things you recognize because like, um, one of my clients was talking about what she used on her daughter in the shampoo she gave me. The first seven ingredients were cleansing agents. And I'm like, why you need seven of them in one shampoo? Like there was nothing to me. That was more like a clarifying shampoo. We'll try to talk more about that later. So the so the main ingredients in shampoos, number one, mostly is water. Most shampoos are water-based. Some people um, that I guess like make their own shampoo or natural type shampoo, they may use aloe vera, but for the most part, all shampoos are water-based. And then it has a cleansing agent, sulfates. Um, and if it's not sulfates, it's another type of cleansing agent. So sulfates can be um irritating to the scalp you should avoid sulfates if you have um sensitive skin contact dermatitis rosacea like any type of skin issues you want to avoid um sulfates so there's different type of um sulfates that are in shampoos common ones okay disclaimer a lot of these ingredients be having too many syllables, too many letters, not enough vowels. So I'm probably gonna pronounce things incorrectly, but I'll make sure to put it on the screen so that you can know the word I'm talking about. So the most common um, sulfate is sodium laureth or sodium laurel sulfates. You see those a lot. So if a product is claiming to be sulfate free and you clearly see sulfate in it, then you know it's not sulfate free. So a lot of people want to be against sulfates, but they can be irritating if you have sensitive skin or skin issues, or if you use them excessively. How many times are y'all shampooing your hair in real life? So I'm going to name common sulfates that you'll see in shampoos. And again, forgive me for but butchering these names and butchering the word butchering. Gosh, get it together, madam. So sodium laureth sulfate. And basically what they do is, um, how they work is they trap oils so that when you go to rinse the hair, the oils wash away with it. Also, there's different ingredients in, I'll get to that later, but there's different ingredients in the shampoos that allow certain things to happen. Because as we know, oil and water don't mix. So there's different, there's certain ingredients in shampoos that causes these two to mix so that they can actually, the water can actually wash away nasty oils and all that other stuff. So anyways, sodium lauryl sulfate, um, 
is it can be drying to the hair it's a deep clean sulfate so one thing i noticed um I can't read my handwriting. Oh, sorry, I thought I had to sneeze. One thing I noticed, the sodium lorette is usually um, less irritating than the sodium laurel. Which, that's how I think you pronounce that one. I don't know. So anyways, sodium lorette sulfate traps oils. They all do that so that it can wash away. It can be drying. It's a deep cleaning um, surfactant or cleansing agent, and it can cause frizz. Now, the sodium laurel sulfate, um, it is more irritating than the sodium laurel, and, and if you use it excessively, then it can be damaging to the hair or like dry it out. You know, anything that you do excessively will become bad. That's the same for conditioner for all you co-washers out there who want to Condition, 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 and never cleanse. Um, anything you do excessively can damage your hair. You want to oil your hair every day, you're going to get build up. You're probably going to clog your pores. So you need to do things in moderation. You can't, like on medication, it say take as directed. If it tell you to take one pill, you take five, fam. So anything in excess is bad. So um, moving on, another common one is ammonium laurel sulfate and ammonium laureth sulfate and they're basically the same but ammonium is um less irritating than sodium um and so the ammonium sulfates will be less irritating than the sodium sulfates but these are all cleansing agents um so ammonium laurel ammonium sulfate they're milder than the sodium sulfates and the, again, they're surf surfactants or cleansing agents. And then there's one which I just started seeing, but apparently a lot of people use it. And I didn't write clearly, so now I'm going to mess it up. Sodium laurel succostinate. It's also a cleansing agent. It also acts as a hair conditioner um, or conditioning agent for the hair. It's less irritating. Um, it's more milder than the other ones, and it's anti-static. So no frizz, no static. Now, with anything that you put in your hair, how it um, affects the hair depends on its structure, its molecular weight. Um, are the molecules big or small? Can they actually penetrate through the hair and through the skin? So sodium actually penetrates the outer layer of the skin, and that's why it can cause skin irritation um, because it has small molecules. Ammonium has lot larger molecules or larger molecular mass. Um, so it's harder to penetrate through the layer of the skin and that's how it's less irritating. And again, those are just common ingredients. So if you see those in a shampoo, then you kind of know what they do. Um, you can then determine how often you want to use that particular product, um, things like that. So sulfate free ingredients, common ones. Again, I'm really gonna mess these up because yeah. Um, so common sulfate free ones are sodium, cocoa, isethinonate, isethinate, I don't know. <laughs> Again, I'll have it on the screen. <laughs> um, sodium, Laura, something hard. Um, So the type of shampoo you want to choose is going to depend on what you need. There's different type of shampoos. They have shampoos for moisture, hydration, volume, um, repair shampoos, conditioning shampoos, oh, color safe shampoos, dandruff. I keep forgetting dandruff. And dandruff shampoos. Repair shampoos usually have um, ingredients in it that assists with repairing something internally. So those shampoos are usually going to be able to penetrate through the hair up in the cuticle so that it can repair whatever is missing. You want to be careful with repair shampoos because if you don't need any repairing, then you don't want to use it because then you're going to damage your hair. 
Um, Color Safe are usually sulfate free. They're usually a milder formula so that it doesn't cause your color to fade fast. Um, dandruff, they usually have some type of active ingredient in it that fights against dandruff, which I've talked about dandruff. So if you don't know what those ingredients are, then check out my dandruff versus dry scalp video. Um, hydrate and moisture, they usually have ingredients in there that act as moisture retaining ingredients, humectants. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> and then volume, it's usually a... A lighter shampoo that does not weigh down the hair so that when you go to style the hair it's not heavy and weighed down and it gives the illusion of thicker full of hair um, for people who don't know most companies the ingredients at the top of the list are going to be the ones that's um, mostly in the product they're going to be the most effective because they're mostly in the product um, at the end of the list, it's probably small amounts of those, and they're in there for different reasons. It might be color, perfume. So, um, the t most ingredients that you'll see, y'all look, I'll be writing notes, and then I'll be thinking of other things, and i put them on the side. Then I'll be drawing arrows to make sure I talk about that. So then I'll be getting confused. So the most ingredients that you'll see is water. Um, that's the top ingredient usually in most shampoos and that's pretty much most of what it is water um, then you'll find surfactants which is the sulfates the cleansing agents um, or the non sulfates other cleansing agents and then um, another ingredient will be an acidic ingredient like citric acid it helps to balance the pH of a product I don't know if I've ever talked about pH in any of my other videos but pH is potential potential hydrogen and it's on a scale from ooh, I want to say 0 to 13.5 or something the pH the balanced pH for hair nail and skins is 4.5 to 5.5 so that's where you want your hair to be so you want your skin to be to be right um, some shampoos are above that slightly but it's still acidic um, and then the conditioner usually brings it back down. Um, I need to chew some gum because you know you'd be talking too much and you start feeling. Okay, moving on. Um, silicones. A lot of people hate silicones. I know y'all hate silicones. Y'all hate silicones. Silicones don't really offer any value to the hair. They just give products um, slip um, and they are used to moisturize the hair but they really don't they just kind of sit on the hair and give the hair the illusion of softness because nobody wants to wash and condition their hair and it'd be dry and crusty um y'all thought this said this looks like cat's uncle but it says coats cuticle and your silicones are going to be things that, um, anything Indian, O-N-E, dimethicone, dimethicone or something, cononol, something. But if you see something, something cone, it's a silicone. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and then another thing is called polyquats, but the long word it's polyquaternium, which is probably incorrect. And there's different kinds. There's poly, there, like there's different numbers on the end of them. So there's a bunch of different kinds. I need polyquats. They're um, polymers, and they have a lot of positive charges. I don't think I've ever talked about positive and negative charges in the hair, um, but. Uh, I don't know if I ever talked about that, but basically your hair needs to be balanced. So there's certain things that create negative charges, certain things that create positive charges. You want to have a balance of both. So this particular ingredient helps to um, moisturize. It acts as an anti-frizz or anti-static agent. Um, and it has a lot of positive charges in it to help with the balancing. Um, and other things that can affect that is like 
combing, brushing. If you ever brush your hair and you see it like be sticking up, it's not good. Um, other ingredients are what are called humectants. So those are going to be like, let me say this right. Pan, panthenols. I think that's it. Other um, type of humectant that you'll see at pan. I feel like I wrote this wrong. Because I have two different spellings. It'll be on the screen. Glycerin and propylene glycol. Those are just, there's more, but those are just common ones that you'll see. So if you see those and you know what they're for. Um, other ingredients you'll see is preservatives. Now, people use a lot of different things as a preservative. Um, I'll try to list a few on the screen, but there's a lot. Some of those preservatives are not good. Um, and they're usually at the bottom of the ingredient list. So usually they don't use a lot of them. I don't know the percentages. Every company is different. And some people use natural preservatives, but you have to have preservatives in shampoo and conditioner. And also you need to pay attention to, I wonder if this has it, this little thing. Hold on. That little thing with the top open, it'll have um, a little thing with the top open, look like a little jar with the top open, it don't have a number in it. That tells you how long that product lasts once open. So most of the time I see, what I've seen on all products is 12 months. Also, you wanna know a lot of more natural products because they're made um, with natural ingredients or they might have less preservatives, they don't last as long and they have expiration dates on them. You wanna pay attention to that. You wanna pay attention to how long a product lasts once you open it. Because preservatives, not all make things last forever. But that's why preservatives are in products, okay. Another thing you will see common um, is alcohol. Now there's good and bad alcohol. There should not be no rubbing alcohol in the products. But alcohol is used to help blend ingredients, um, thicken, soften, and moisture. Moisturize, what? Look, if y'all can see this, y'all would know why I just keep making mistakes. <laughs> Common um, type of alcohol that you'll see is benzyl alcohol, cetyl alcohol, and ceter ceteryl alcohol. Those are just common ones. Um, and other ingredients you'll see will act as emulsifiers. And those are going to be, um, again, there's different kinds, but common ones are polysorbate 20, ceterath 20, Cicero stearate again it'll be on the screen those are emulsifiers and those are usually going to be at the top of the ingredients except for the um preservatives those are usually the last few ones and it depends on how many ingredients they got because some people be having like five ingredients, some people be having like a hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so in conclusion, shampoo's main focus or main purpose is to cleanse. You have to cleanse your hair. I don't care what y'all say. There's no such thing as over shampooing your hair unless you shampoo your hair every day. But your hair is dirty. Our scalp naturally produces oil. Your scalp is oily and dirty. You be sweating because it's hot. If you live in Arizona or during the hot season. You be sweating, you be hot, you be scratching, you be itchy, you got dandruff, you got flakes, you got to shampoo your hair, you got to clean that out. Okay, so that's it. I hope this video was informative in some type of way. I hope the sound is right because I keep forgetting I got these microphones on and yeah, I hope I don't have to record this. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. Make sure to check out all the other videos in this series. Um, and then all my other videos, I have tutorials, I have a small business um, playlist. If you know somebody that need help, give them those videos. And I want to challenge you guys, whoever watches this video, send it to two of your friends or favorite people and ask them to watch it. Ask them to subscribe to my channel and just keep doing it because we got to get these subscriptions up. We got to get these views up. 
because you know the purpose of my channel is to share my work and educate in some way shape or form so i hope i can educate people but if only like five people watching i'm like oh nobody's gonna learn anything so share with somebody if you have any comments comment below if any other follow-up questions comment below and yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for coming back come back for the next video i'm gonna try to do these every week i got the next few episodes lined out but again i don't know what to talk about until i see incorrect things so let me know if you guys have any other questions and ttyl